guys, my name is Lily and today I'm starting the video with probably the most ugly background that I have in my house. So here you can see my natural gas pipe that leads into my house. So unfortunately my house is heated with natural gas and what that means for me and for some fellow Europeans we are going to discuss in this video. So what I wanted to show you today is this newspaper here and this is probably the most popular newspaper in Austria and the title says do we have to worry about our natural gas and then here you can read Russia is only delivering half of what it has promised now inside of the newspaper article politicians are really worried so they are saying that um, if the natural gas is cut off, uh, it might lead to um, economic and also societal catastrophe in Austria and also in Europe. So now finally our politicians have woken up. Uh, it took them a long time actually because these problems we already had last September. But actually now our politicians have made the first right steps. So the first law that they have passed now is that um, all of the natural gas reservoirs have to be filled up to 80%. I think that's a really good law because a couple of weeks or months ago we only had like 20% or less than that left in our reservoirs. So I think it's great that they realized that having a little bit of more natural gas at hand gives them more time to react if Russia really wants to cut us off of the natural gas supply. So that's really good, but of course it does not solve the problem. Uh, it's not going to last forever. So if you fill up all of the uh, natural gas reservoirs in Austria, that will have a capacity to bring us through two winter months and that's it. So we are still dependent on getting continuous natural gas supply from abroad. And right now we do not have that. So now what a few companies are trying to push through is that people should not heat their houses above 16 degrees Celsius in winter time. Now this idea is not new, it was also coming from a few politicians who say that um, we should not heat our houses so much to save some natural gas and also to save electricity. I think that's pretty like crazy because here in Europe we are used to having really high standards. Um, we are one of the most developed countries in the world and now they want us not to heat our houses properly in winter time. So they basically want families to freeze. Imagine if you have small children and you only have like 16 degrees Celsius in your flat. That's really cold and I find that really boring. It's Unbelievable. When I read it, I thought first that this is a joke, but apparently it's not a joke. So it's it's real and it's crazy. I don't know if I should laugh about this or cry about this, but this is how dire the situation is in Austria and Germany and in other countries as well. So crazy. It's really crazy that they are uh, pushing ideas like this. Now here I have another article. This is a newspaper that you will get if you are a company like me and here it says danger blackout um, and then inside of here they have an article where the discussion is up to how companies are preparing against a blackout here you can see what they are writing and then here also they say if the communication fails if the mobility fails if really important services fail, like for example the hospital, if people cannot get food, water, if people cannot heat their houses, this will lead to a catastrophic scenario and it can lead to a collapse of the entire society. So this is what they are writing in this very conservative um, yeah, newspaper here. So I was really surprised to see such hard words but actually it's the truth and I have to say I'm really happy that finally they are honest to the people because now people have the opportunity to prepare themselves and that's what I personally did. So unfortunately my house is heated with natural gas 
but of course I'm preparing for a potential natural gas shortage so what I did was I was investing in a wood stove a lot of my neighbors around here are preparing too so I never outed myself as a prepper here in my vicinity but I'm seeing people like putting on solar panels onto their roofs um, this one neighbor over here they have just uh, built another chicken coop. Also, I witnessed that many people here now are installing emergency water reservoirs like rain barrels and such. So I think it's great because now finally, uh, not only the politicians, but also the normal citizens have woken up and finally they are preparing. And actually the natural gas problem is not the only problem that we have right now. So if you take a look at this, first newspaper again you can see uh, that here there's an article about social markets so we have social markets in Austria so if you are really poor and um, you do not have any money you do not earn any money you can go to those markets and there you can buy food for very good price so it's very cheap and this is especially for poor people and we had social markets for a long time and it's helping out people a lot but now unfortunately those social supermarkets are not making it anymore and that's because gas has gotten too expensive and also they do not get any food anymore and this is why now a lot of those social markets have closed um, yeah that's really bad it's really sad to read something like this and yeah it, it makes me really sad but also angry because I think that politicians they could do more like for example the gas price is now at two euros per liter which is really high and half of these two euros are actually taxes so they could go down with the taxes but they don't want to so it's getting really expensive in Austria I believe if the trend continues like this the high inflation the natural gas crisis the gas crisis um, the electricity crisis I believe that pretty soon the um, middle class will vanish because there's no other way around it, right? So it's really crazy. Also, there are parts missing, products missing in almost every company. So I know many people who have a small company or even are working in bigger companies and they all say the same. So there's a shortage of supply in products. In goods and products and it's going to be really hard pretty soon if it continues like this if we do not get our products that we need to continue our work I think that I think it this will lead to hyperinflation or recession or both and then we are done now here in another article they are saying that the natural gas price will increase another 58% in September so I'm really worried about this because who is going to be able to pay this now here is another article of the guardian and here they cite elon musk and he is saying that a recession in the us is inevitable and will probably come soon and you can think of him whatever you want but i have to say i agree with him on this topic so if it continues like this then uh, we will get into a big recession now there's another thing that i want to report about so here you can see an article of the newspaper der standard and now the mobile phone companies they are saving electricity and they do it by turning off a couple of frequencies of mobile phone towers so usually one mobile phone tower has about three frequencies that it operates in and those three frequencies are enough so that you can accept all of the calls and messages but in the night now they are turning off two or three frequencies so you only have one frequency anymore and that's because there are less calls and everything now this actually makes sense because why keeping open all of the frequencies when you're not needing them so i can understand their decision to do that but actually now the problem is that if you have an internet router uh, you will have to switch it on and off every morning because it does not automatically dial into those frequencies so it stays with the first frequency which is not turned off 
and um, basically that will or is already leading to problems here in Austria so if you have problems with the internet try turning off your router then turn it on again and then it should dial into the frequencies of the mobile phone tower oh yeah before I end the video I want to show you this thing here this here is an alarm which goes off if the grid fails so let's say for example the blackout happens in the night then you will get woken up by this device and then you can take measures by for example plugging in your freezer into your power station or into your generator so i just wanted to let you know that there's a great device like this which is going to wake you up and that's really awesome and you can also install a watt meter so if you are not sure how much uh, electricity your freezer for example is using then you can plug this in and then you will see how much um, electricity and amperage your freezer or fridge are actually drawing and that's pretty important to know thank you guys for watching and stay tuned till next time